Colonel Garma, na-mention po niyo sa inyong affidavit, first affidavit, na pinatawag kayo po ni uh, former President Duterte, uh, May of 2016, and uh, ang requirement niya, ihanap mo siya ng opisyal na membro ng INC o is a good uh, intelligence officer. Tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor, <coughs> Mr. Chair. Would you know if uh, yung sinamit mong pangalan uh, eh, nag-report kay former President Duterte? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And yes. sino po yung official na yun? Nirecommend na po ninyo? Uh, Colonel Le Leonardo po, Mr. Chair. And before I proceed further, uh, Colonel Garma, tumawag na po ba sa iyo si former President Duterte? Tumawag po. Tumawag? Tumawag na po ba siya sa iyo? Yes, Mr. Chair. How many times? Once po, Mr. Chair. Ano po ang pinag-usapan ninyo kung po pwedeng malaman? Um, he explained to me uh, yung pong pinaintindi niya sa akin kung bakit Iglesia ni Cristo yung pinahanap po niya, Mr. Chair. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, Colonel Leonardo, uh, kayo po ang in-endorse ni Colonel Garma kay Presidente. Did you have a meeting with the President in July of 2016? Actually, uh, namit ko po siya uh, last week of June, Mr. Chair. Ha? Huh? Namit ko po... Uh, no, did you have a meeting after Colonel Garma has endorsed your name to the former President that you met with the President sometime in July 2016? Ang pagkakalam ko po, Mr. Chair, uh, Last week of uh, June, Mr. Chair. Hindi ba last week of May? Uh, Tinitesting ko lang yung kung, kung magsasabi ka ng totoo. Alam ko naman but, na last week of May yung meeting ninyo eh. And you're not forthright with your answer. Ang meeting ninyo kay Presidente last week of May. Di ba? Tama? Ay, uh, uh, check po. Parang may, ano po, uh, may, meet, uh, po, may meeting po kami nga, ano, uh, may, may din po, Mr. Chair. Nung ikaw ay nag-meet uh, with the President, sino po ang kasama nyo? Uh, actually po, mga, mga officers po, Mr. Chair. Mga, ano po? Officers po na, ng PNP. Sino po? Officers po ng uh, PNP, Mr. Chair. Nung, sa, uh, as far as I can recall, Mr. Chair. With the President? Opo, Mr. Chair. Ang sabi mo nun, yung class ninyo, hindi nyo kipag-usap yung Presidente? Uh, ako lang po yun, uh, Mr. Hindi po yung class namin. Sa, uh, yung sinasabi nyo na may na nag-meet uh, kami, Mr. Chair. Hindi ba, Colonel Garma, ang sabi mo, sometime in May, Doon ka na pinatawag ni Presidente, di ba? At sinabi mo yung pangalan ni Colonel Leonardo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And a meeting took place dahil kailangan ka ni Presidente eh. Sinabi na nga ng pangalan mo ni Colonel Garma eh. Tapos i-deny mo na nagkipag-meet ka na kay Presidente in May of 2016? Opo, Mr. Chair. Uh, May. Na, yes. Pero ako lang po, wala pong uh, ibang uh, kasama. Huwag kang magsinungaling sa akin. Baka i-charge pa kita ng perjury. You met with the President with some people. And may you know the topic? Ano yung topic ng inyong pag-uusap ni Mr. President? O former President? Actually, Mr. Chair, uh, ano lang po kami? Nag, uh, ako po, uh, nandun lang, Mr. Chair. Uh, parang, ganun lang din po. Parang, uh, nagpakita lang po, Mr. Chair. Hindi, hindi naman uh, po talaga uh, meeting. Uh, hindi naman po ako kasali sa... mga meeting noon, Mr. Chair. Ibig mong sabihin, hinanap ka ni Mr. President, uh, former President, para lang imit ka? Opo, Mr. Chair. Lang po. Ano? Opo. You want me to believe that? Nag-meet kayo dahil naghahanap siya ng isang opisyal na tutulong sa kanya sa kanyang implementation of the war on drugs. Di ba tama? Actually, uh, uh, Hindi naman po yun ang pinag-usapan namin, Mr. Chair. Basta nag-meet lang kami. Hindi, yun, hindi yun ang pinag-usapan ninyo. 
I'm giving you a second chance, Colonel Leonardo. You better tell the truth to me. Kasi baka may demanda pa kita ng another offense. Di ba? Noong last na kwan, sinasabi mo na dapat uh, ang implement ay yung Davao template. Doon sa previous hearings natin. Di ba? Apa, Officer Chair. Yes. And may I know, Colonel Garma, what do you understand by the Davao template in so far as the war on drugs uh, is concerned? Um... <laughs> The, the payments and rewards po, Mr. Chair. Huh? Rewards and payments po. There is a reward for what? For uh, successful neutralization of uh, neutralization? drug suspects. And we say, when you say neutralization, it means the killing? Can be, can be, Mr. Chair, a legitimate operation or... Um, In your yes. affidavit, uh, you answered uh, the lead chair the honorable uh, barbers that you receive three or more three three times uh, monetary reward in the amount of 20000 hindi po ba yes mr chair and for what is that for the um, uh, death of the suspects mr so, chair so you are admitting to this committee na talaga yung yung davao template would involve the neutralization of drug suspects and there are rewards for such yes mr chair yes Hindi mo malalaman ito, Colonel Leonardo, because you were never a station commander in Davao City, hindi ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Can, uh, that's why hindi kita tinanong dito. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, pinatawag uh, ka ni former president so that he will, you will be able to help him uh, implement the war on drugs on a national level using the Davao template. Hindi ba? Sinabi mo na nga doon sa last hearing natin yan eh. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Now, may I know, uh, do you know when when Gerald De La Rosa became the chief MP? Uh, July uh, 2016, Mr. Chair. July of? Of 2016. 2016. Oh, problem, now, when did Gerald Ferro become the AIDG of the Philippine National Police? I, I'm not sure po kung... Uh, it's also uh, July of 2016. Tama? Ah, tanungin uh, mo si Colonel Kunanan para may research niya kaagad. July of 2016. Now, when did uh, General La Peña became the PDA head? I guess uh, same po. Uh, no? Same. Din po yata, no? Pare-parehas, di ba? Yung AIDG, anti-illegal drug ng Philippine National Police, Gerald Ferro, yung PDEA, si Gerald La Peña, and uh, Chief PNP, si Gerald De La Rosa. Tama? Uh, tama po, Mr. Yes. And it was during that time na nagrekomenda ka ng, ng task force which hindi natuloy. Actually, hindi ko po na-recommend, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, June, uh, ano pa lang, June, uh, last week of June, uh, hindi na po, kasi meron na pong uh, uh, i-implement na double barrel, Mr. Chair. Na, yung, yung double barrel, kalahati nun, yung Oplan Tukhang, yun yung ginagawa sa Davao, tama? Tama po, Mr. Chair. Oo, oh, kasi, nung plinano ni Gerald De La Rosa yung Oplan double barrel, dinagdag niya yung high value targets. Tama po, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, now, would you agree with me, General, uh, Colonel Garma, na doon sa implementation ng Oplan Tukang and Oplan High Value Targets, when the target does not resist the arrest, they would still be killed or neutralized and to be justified as nanlaban with guns and drugs planted on their bodies? Would you agree with that? Mr. Chair, can I un explain my answer, Mr. Chair? Um, if you read the results of the investigation or um, um, look at the result of the scene of the crime uh, operations, um, 
makikita mo po na parang magda-doubt ka kung lumaban ba o hindi yung suspect. So, you agree with my statement? Uh, sometimes, Mr. Chair. That's also the findings of the human rights groups. Kaya tinatanong ko lang kayo kung naniniwala ka. Now, Colonel Leonardo, would you believe that also? Uh, mayroon po akong mga na narinig na mga ganong case, Mr. Chair. Narinig mo lang. And therefore, uh, panawad, you do uh, not believe the, uh, the investigations conducted by the human rights group Ah, uh, may, meron po, meron po nangyayari ganoon, Mr. Okay, Chair. Okay, thank you for that. Now, uh, the, the, uh, the drug list, it was made in July of 2016, tama? Galing sa Philippine National Police. Would that be correct, Colonel Leonardo? Uh, I believe so, Mr. Chair. You believe so? Uh, Pideya, that would be correct also? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. That was in July of 2016. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Now, after the list has been uh, submitted, it has been observed that there were numerous uh, extrajudicial killings. Would you agree with me, uh, Colonel Garma? Uh, Mr. Chair, yun nga po, sabi ko, kung tignan mo po yung result na SOCO, basahin mong report, it's... It, it, it is possible. Meron po. Meron. Hindi. What I'm asking is, after the list, the first list has been made, biglang dumami yung extrajudicial killing, according to statistics. Um, statistics won't lie, Mr. Chair. Numbers won't lie, Numbers Mr. Won't Chair. Numbers won't lie. So you agree with my statement. How about Colonel Leonardo? Would you agree with me that uh, after the submission of the list, there were numerous uh, extrajudicial killings? Uh, meron, meron po, Mr. Chair. Meron. And maybe this is because of the pronouncement of the former president and uh, the monetary operational support uh, fund. Diba? Would you agree? Nakaya dumami nito dahil uh, doon sa pronouncement ng ating presidente noon at saka doon sa uh, monetary or operational reward. Uh, fund reward. Tama. Kaya lumakas ang kwan ng kwan eh. Nagka-interest sa mga pulis. Would you agree? Uh, I don't have uh, personal knowledge, Mr. Chair. You don't have personal knowledge. <laughs> you don't have to have personal knowledge. Tignan mo lang yung mga pronouncement noon. At saka yung kwan. Inanmit nyo na nga na may reward eh. Tapos kailangan pa ang personal knowledge. How about Pedea? Would you agree with that? Now, there was a uh, uh, rampant EJ case after the list was the first list was made. Uh, that was the indication, uh, Your Honor. Yes, kasi August pa lang. Ang dami lang namatay. No. Uh, and would you agree with me also, Colonel Garma, Colonel Leonardo, that abuses came about because of the monetary reward? ang reason eh nanlaban, natokhang, or naplan, naplantingan. Di ba? Lumabas yung mga terminologies na yan sa ating kapulisan eh. Would you agree with me na there were abuses using this, this uh, terminologies, nanlaban, natokhang, at saka naplantingan? I believe uh, so, Mr. Chair. Would you also agree with that, uh, Colonel Gama? Yes, Mr. Chair. And Pideya? Would you agree with that? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Yes. Kasi, nandun naman yung mga statistics eh. Uh, now, ang pinag-aawayan natin ay si Colonel Leonardo, ayaw niyang diretsahin, tanggapin, merong, merong levels of reward. And Colonel Garma, would you admit na merong levels of reward depende dun sa nanon-neutralize? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Pideya, would you agree na merong levels of reward kasi narinig ko na rin ito sa report ninyo eh. Uh, yes. Uh, According to your research. Yes, Your Honor. And only you, Colonel Leonardo, cannot directly admit na merong levels of reward. Bakit kaya? Uh, meron po yung level yung mga nasa list, Mr. Chair. So you are admitting that my levels of reward and my reward uh, system. Sir, if there are rewards, then there will be rewa a reward system. Tama po ba? Ang alam ko po, uh, operational uh, support, Mr. Chair. Oh, call it what you 
want. Pero kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, yung reward, yung monetary reward or operational support. Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Meron bang operational support na hindi monetary? Sa tokang? Matanong ko nga po kayo. Uh, wala po kong... Uh, hmm. Kaya monetary reward, whatever you call it, you do not want to call it as monetary reward, operational support, yun po siguro yung kuha ninyo. Pero merong pera na involved. At ang pagbabayad dun sa, sa neutralization, depende dun sa tao na na-neutralize. Would that be correct also, Colonel Garma? Yes, Mr. Chair. Pideya? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, Colonel Leonardo, would you agree with that? Baka ikaw na lang naman hindi mag-agree? Ay, uh, yun lang po alam ko, Mr. Chair. Na... Thank you. Uh, as a matter of fact, yung, uh, yung uh, pagkamatay ng tatlong Chinese doon sa Davao Penal Colony, the death of, of Mayor Espinosa, detainee or PDL Egay Alvarez, and others, a part of the war on drugs. Because lumabas na yung listahan eh. Pedeya, would you agree with that? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Kasi nandun, yung mga namatay na ito nandun sa first list eh. Yes, Your Honor. And you do not know that, Colonel Leonardo? Alam ko po na may... Alam mo. May And Colonel Garma, are you aware of that also? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. <laughs> Now, Pedeya, are you aware of the incident in 2016 where 10... Uh, Suspected drug lords were killed in Pasay? I will find out, Your Honor. Uh, I, I, I am not uh, with this. Colonel Garma, are you aware of that? No, no, Mr. Chair. Colonel Leonardo, are you aware of that? That incident in Pasay in August 2016? Uh, okay. Hindi ko po, uh, hindi po aware dyan, Mr. Chair. You do not know that? Uh, negative, Mr. Chair. Huh? Balitang-balita na yung mga gumawa nito, they received 10 million for the 10 suspected drug lords na namatay. And you do not know that? Siguro, Pedeya, could you please research on this? Uh, we are checking on it already, Your Honor. Yes, thank you. Now, uh, Colonel Garma, uh, you have been assigned in Cebu for how long? January of 2017 to, to June of 2019, Mr. Chair. 17, Two years? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yes, Mr. Chair. And who was assigned first to uh, Region 7? Gerald Sinas or you? Ako po, Mr. Chair. Okay. Ikaw ang nauna? Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, in your stint in Cebu, uh, how many prominent persons were neutralized, suspected of being drug lords? Um, marami pong high value uh, uh, mga officials uh, that were um, killed, Mr. Chair. Not only in Cebu City, but nearby cities and uh, towns under the Cebu province po. No. Uh, ang prominent dun ay yung ambush kay Mayor Luot, right? Yes, Mr. Chair. I, yes, was then a retired general. Mr. Chair? Retired General Luot became mayor. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, Naambus siya uh, in uh, ano, Malapasua, Cebu? Uh, um, nung galing that? po siya ng Malapasqua Malapasqua, Island, Cebu. yes, nagdak po yung, bal, yung boat nila. Uh, yes. And uh, doon din sa Cebu, may mga PDEA agents din na nabatay. Would that be correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. PDEA? Tutorin ba yun? That you had agents in Cebu who were killed or neutralized? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, so, may no, uh, Colonel Garma, since you were there, were they part of the war on drugs also? Yung mga killings na nangyari during your two and a half years stint? Uh, I believe, Mr. Chair, they are part because sa mga press ladies po, na may mention na they are in the list. And rewards were also given to those people who neutralized these people. I believe, Mr. Chair. You believe that? Okay, thank you.